so at least for the foreseeable future, it seems to be the right place and the right, uh, the right service. So we do appreciate your support and your, your help in keeping it that way. So I'm open to if there's questions that any of you have, but. Thank you. Thank you, Worship. I just had a couple. First of all, I want to thank you for your time and having sat on the board for a couple of years. I uh, have a much better understanding than I did before, and uh, I wanted to ask you with regards to buildings. I know when I was on the board, there was discussion about the expansion in Vernon. And when something like that occurs, when it comes to the capital costs, how much of that is borne in percentage terms approximately by the regional library board? And how much is borne by the municipality that wants to build a building like that? There's two or three ways that it can be done. Uh, historically, in over the longer term, we tended to lease most of our buildings. So capital-wise, we didn't put money into it. Over the past uh, two or three, four years, we've re-looked at that policy, and we're looking at it sort of on a business case for each branch by branch. The reason we're doing that is we're finding the way we do with our leased buildings is we pay market rent and we have a market appraiser go through every three years and reappraise all whatever the market does, so that's where our rent goes. What's happening is, of course, the market, we pay off everybody's, but you know, it goes up significantly, and, but you know, we're not necessarily making the use for the taxpayer. So there's times uh, we found, for instance, in Okanagan Falls, which is one that we purchased uh, about three years ago, we were able to, uh, for what we would pay in about seven, eight, years of lease, we can own it outright, and it's a strata of building, and so it made much more sense for the taxpayers that. In something like the Vernon situation right now, we've been working with them and still not finalized, but with some of the proposals that are coming forward now, it will be a situation where we'll buy a, a strata portion of the, uh, there, and they'll be putting up a portion, because it, it'll be a multi-use building that they're looking at, uh, probably having both uh, civic functions sorry, as well as ourselves in it. And so we'll be looking at our particular portion of the space and putting a certain amount of capital money towards it. We've told them a figure that we, we feel we can finance, and anything above that is something that the Vernon knows they'll have to come up with uh, if they want us in there in that type of facility. So, so, so in general, going out into the future, yeah. um, 5, 10, 15 years, would the library board prefer to be in a situation up here with a very high traffic area, leasing in a mall, or would you prefer to be getting involved in, say, some kind of function where there might be a building built that's multi-purpose and there'd be a library component. I think the key for us is can we get it in the right place for the maximum usage? So um, for for here, Piccadilly works so well because the usage is high, and you know we've got a we feel that the costs we're paying justify the being there. If you could find a situation within a community and it made sense. You know, the finances worked out to do it, uh, to own it, that, that could certainly be something that we'd look at too. Our goal is through ownership is over the period of, uh, say, the next 10 or 15 years, to cap a portion of our budget as much as we can that goes towards buildings. What we're finding is, if you went back a number of years back, uh, we'd be between 15 and 20 percent of our budget was going towards the cost of buildings. That's probably closer to 25 percent of our budget now. Some uh, libraries uh, don't even build into their budgets because cities or towns you know, provide them. So if we're 20 percent below their costs and they're not even including their building costs, you know, we're saying, okay, we've got to at least try and cap those costs as much as we can. And uh, so that's that's our long-term goal. Not that we want to be a landlord, but that we want to control those costs as much as we can. Thank you. So it's kind of a vague answer to it. It, it depends on. And I just want to comment that I think our tax in you know, Okanagan are getting significant value from the region approach and uh, as you said it's probably underfunded in our area compared to other areas so well certainly so disgusting um, your worship unless they come forward and they provide the information whether or not they're licensed under the provisions of those other acts as manager for natural services has pointed out we don't know and nor have they applied to the city for a tax exemption 